Today we'll deploy a simple smart contract on ZK Rollup, ZK Sync 2.0. The example for this video will be based off of the official documentation of ZK Sync. Most of the commands that we type and the code that we're gonna try out is based off of these code and examples that you see on the official documentation. I've created an empty folder called hello ZK Sync, and this is where we will be putting our code and all of the npm packages that we're gonna need. So first, let's install some npm package. I'll go back to the documentation and these are the two commands that we'll need to type. I don't have yarn, I'm using npm. So first I'll initialize the npm package by typing npm init-y. This will create a package.json. Next, let's install some packages. I'll copy this second command from the official documentation and then paste it here. And since I'm using npm instead of yarn, I'll change this first command to npm i dash dash save deb. Once all of the dependencies are installed, we'll next create a hardhat config. So I'll create a new file called hardhat.config.ts. I'll go back to the documentation and copy all of this. And then paste it here. Hit Ctrl S to save, and let's take a few minutes to look at what this configuration is. It looks like this configuration is using Docker, so I'm gonna open my terminal and then make sure that Docker is enabled. On my Linux operating system, I can enable Docker by typing sudo systemctl start docker. Let's see what else we need from this configuration file. I'll scroll down. And it looks like we're gonna need Solidity 0.8.10. And we might come back to this later. For now, I think we're good, so let's move on. Next, we'll copy and paste a simple contract from the official documentation. So back in the documentation, I'm gonna scroll down and then copy this contract. And we'll need to put this contract inside the folder called contracts. Back inside my code editor, I'll click on the file navigator and create a folder called contracts. And inside the contracts, I'll create a contract name, greeter.soul, and then paste the contract that we just copied over. Let's try compiling this contract. So I'll open my terminal and then type mpx hardhat compile. And the contract compiled successfully. Let's go back to the documentation and see what we need to do next. Back in the documentation, it says that I need to create a deploy folder and then if I scroll down a little bit, inside the deploy folder, I need to create a file called deploy.ts and paste this command. So let's do that. I'll copy this code. Inside my code editor, I'll create a new folder called deploy. And then inside it, I'll create a new file called deploy.ts and then paste the code that we just copied. Let's take a look at what the code does. First, it looks like we'll need to put our private key inside here. So what I'll do is import our private key from a file called .secret. So first I'll import fs from fs. This is the file system library that is available for Node.js. And then we'll get the secret. We'll call it const pride key is equal to fs.read file sync Inside here, we'll need to put in the file path where our secret file is. We'll store the .secret file in the same directory as the project. So if I open my file navigator, inside here, we'll create the file called .secret, and we'll paste our private key inside here, and it has to be prefixed with 0x, followed by your private key. I'll export my private key from my MetaMask and put it inside here, but obviously I'm not gonna show it here. You do the same as well. So back in our scripts, We'll read file sync from dot secret, and this will return a buffer and we need to turn this into a string. So I'll say dot to string. Once we get the private key from the dot secret file, we'll paste it inside here by typing pride key. Let's scroll down and see what else this script does. It loads the contract and then it says it deploys some funds to L2. And we'll need to do this in order to deploy the contract onto L2, the ZK rollup chain. However, we'll do this manually, so we won't need this part of the code. I'll comment this out, and then I'll scroll down, and it looks like this is the code that's going to be deploying the contract, and then logging the contract address. So the next steps are to make sure that we have some ETH on the ZK sync chain, 
And we can do that by bridging over some ETH from the testnet over to the ZK rollup chain and then executing this script to deploy the contract. What we're going to do now is send some ETH from the testnet. Here I'm using Gordy over to the ZK rollup chain, ZK sync Gordy. On the Gordy testnet, I have 1.75 ETH and I'll send 0.1 ETH over to the rollup chain. I'll click on deposit. Once MetaMask opens, I'll confirm the transaction. And once the transaction confirms, we now have some ETH on ZK Sync Gordy chain. So we're now ready to deploy the contract onto L2. Okay, let's now execute the script deploy.ts to deploy the contract onto ZK Rollup chain. Make sure that you have already pasted your private key inside dot secret. And then I'll open my terminal. And to deploy the contract, we'll have to type mpx hard hat deploy ZK Sync. This is where the contract is deployed. Let's copy the address and see it inside the block explorer. Inside your browser, head over to gksync2-testnet.gkscan.io and then we'll paste the address of the contract inside this search bar and then hit enter. Let's send the transaction to this contract. So I'll scroll down, fold the transaction tabs, scroll down further and click on write contract. Scroll down again. And we'll need to connect our wallet first. So I'll click on connect wallet, click on MetaMask, and the wallet is connected. But before we send the transaction, I need to do one other thing. We need to make sure that our network is configured to send the transaction to the ZK Sync testnet chain. If I open my MetaMask and then click on networks, you can see here that I don't have any ZK Sync testnet chain under the networks. So let's add a new network. What we'll need to do is fill in this form with the ZK Sync testnet information. So to do that, we'll go back to the official documentation. Inside the ZK Sync documentation, this is the information that we'll need to fill. So the name of the network will be ZK Sync Alpha Testnet. I'll copy this, paste it here. Network RPC URL, I'll copy it again, paste it here. Chain ID is 280, I'll type in 280. Currency symbol will be ETH. And the block explorer URL will be this. I'll copy this, paste it inside here, and then click on save. And we now have ZK Sync Alpha Testnet added to our network. Let's make sure that we switched over to this network. I'll scroll up and we can check here that our network is right now pointed to ZK Sync Alpha Testnet. So back in our contract, I'll double check again that the network is right now ZK Sync Alpha Testnet. And we'll finally send a transaction with the message hello ZK Sync 2.0 and then click on write. And then I would like to confirm the transaction, but I see an error saying gas limit must be at least 21,000. So we'll manually edit the gas limit by clicking on edit, clicking on edit suggested gas fee. And inside here we'll type 21,000 and then click save and then click confirm transaction. The transaction was confirmed. Let's check that the new message for the greed is hello ZK Sync 2.0. So I'll scroll up a little bit. Actually, I'll scroll down and click on read contracts. And then scroll down again. And you can see that the greed message is now hello ZK Sync 2.0.